Hello everyone, my name is Melissa and I am a South Beach diet enthusiast looking to get my own health and weight on track and help other people do the same. I'm going to be making several videos to explain the South Beach diet and sort of simplify it for everyone, just so that you could take in the information with both memorable pictures and in small doses at a time. So basically on the South Beach diet there's phase one, phase two, and phase three. You start with phase one, then two weeks later you move up to phase two, and you stay on phase two for the remainder of your weight loss until you reach your goal. At that point, you move up to phase three to maintain your weight for the rest of your life. So basically the South Beach diet is a plan that is not just for weight loss. This plan was originally arranged by a doctor to help people avoid things like heart problems and diabetes. And it turned out that people lost weight on this plan as well. So it was marketed as a general health plan that could take care of pretty much any needs you had. Please do not confuse the South Beach diet with a low carb diet. You do eat carbs on the South Beach plan, but they are good carbs. See, there's good carbs and bad carbs, and I'll be explaining that in some of my other videos. But for now, I just want to break down and simplify the daily menu of the South Beach diet. This is an example of a phase one South Beach diet breakfast. You're supposed to have lean protein, enough to satisfy you, and you can leave the yolks in the eggs, but you're limited to two eggs per day. You should have some vegetables, which are non-starch, meaning no potatoes, no corn, no rice. So you should have at least half a cup of non-starch vegetables, or you can have eight ounces of vegetable juice. And I will go over the specifics of which vegetables you can or can't have in another video. You can also have up to one tablespoon of a good healthy fat, such as olive oil or canola oil. You can either use this to make a salad dressing or to cook your food within the pan. Next, you get a snack. You should be trying to eat about every two and a half to three hours throughout the day. Snacks are to have between meals in case you get hungry. Phase one South Beach diet snack is one ounce of lean protein with one cup of vegetables. Or you can have a serving of fat-free dairy, like yogurt or cheese. Make sure it doesn't have any sugar in it. A lot of the store-bought yogurts have high fructose corn syrup as their sweetener. It's best to buy your own fat-free yogurt in the tub and sweeten it with some natural stuff like stevia. And you can also add some flavor extracts to give it a great taste. Or if you like, you can have a small handful of nuts as your snack. But in the case of nuts, you're advised to watch your weight loss results. Some people's weight can slow down when they eat nuts. Lunch for phase one is very much like breakfast. You can have lean protein, enough to satisfy you, and remember your limit of two eggs per day. At least a half a cup of non-starch vegetables or eight ounces of vegetable juice, and up to one tablespoon of a good healthy fat like olive oil or canola oil. You are encouraged to add a serving of beans to this meal. You don't have to, but it's a great way to help you fill up and give you extra protein. Two and a half to three hours after lunch, you can have another phase one snack. Follow the same guidelines as in your first snack. A phase one dinner for South Beach diet basically consists of the same exact rules as your lunch. Lean protein, enough to satisfy you, again keeping in mind the two eggs per day limit. At least half a cup of non-starch vegetables or eight ounces of vegetable juice. Even tomato sauce in a recipe could count as your half a cup of vegetables. And of course, up to one tablespoon of a good healthy fat like olive oil or canola oil. As with lunch, you are encouraged to add a serving of beans with your dinner if you like them. Phase one of the South Beach diet lasts for the first two weeks. So now we're gonna move on to phase two. Phase two is the same as phase one, but you add the following things to your daily menu. One serving of fruit per day, or half a cup. You gradually increase your dairy to two to three cups daily. You do this slowly over several months time. Also very slowly add one serving, which is about half a cup of a healthy sugar and fat free carb per day. Healthy means minimally processed and as natural as possible. For example, 100% whole wheat grain or multigrain, as in breads and pastas. I personally like to use the 15 grain for bread. When it comes to the 100% whole wheat, if it doesn't say 100%, then white flour has been added. You basically want to avoid anything with white flour. 
or you could use red potatoes. Never use white or regular potatoes. You can also use brown rice. This is a very easy option since in stores there are small half cup portions already measured out that you can just heat up in a microwave. You can toss that in your bag for lunch with some homemade stir fried with chicken and vegetables and have a great meal at work. Closely monitor your weight loss after adding carbs. If your weight loss stops, maybe only have it once or twice a week or smaller portions. You remain on phase two of the South Beach diet until you have reached your weight loss goal. Finally, we'll move on to phase three. On phase three, you simply maintain your weight by following phase two as much as possible. If you do eat anything off plan, like say you go out for pizza on Saturday night, maybe have one or two slices of pizza with a big salad. Never eat off plan more than once or twice per week during phase three. And on those days, never more than one or two meals. Greatly reduce or eliminate certain foods if they cause weight gain or find a figure friendly substitute. And that is basically the South Beach diet simplified. I came up with this quick explanation because it takes a while to hunt all this information down in the book, and some of the other websites out there can be a little bit confusing. It's good to just have a clear, simple plan to follow. That way, you can use the ingredients that are suggested in whatever way you like. You can bake them, boil them, saute them, and you can add whatever spices you like. Having a simple plan gives you a lot of wiggle room in your choices. One other important point to mention is that you are allowed to have dessert on South Beach Diet. Dessert would be a little while after dinner, and it's optional. You don't have to. You would basically just follow the same guidelines as the Phase 1 snacks for a dessert or you can have a sugar-free, low-carb dessert, but watch your portion control. With this information, you could probably start with the South Beach Diet today. If you want to know more about the kind of lean protein, vegetables, fruits, and snacks that you can have on this plan, then please check my other video, because I've made specific videos going into better detail on those subjects. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.